Hello. Um, yeah, today I'm going to give it a start to the audio um, because, yeah, I've been looking at it and, I mean, time keeps moving forward, isn't it? 15 days left um, and I have some time. So, yeah, let's see how far I can get adding the audio and especially the sound effects. Um, so, let's get going. Uh, I'm going to need a new tool. Um, because I have some samples already. I mean, I put this in the to-do, the effects I'm going to use. I haven't tried them. Um, I'm not sure how the mixing is going to go, but yeah, I have something to put in place and see how it goes. Um, but for that, I'm going to need a new tool to get the binary files. Because we could be treating them as regular binary files, but um, there was that section that was being added to the objects that didn't play good. So, um, it's just this one. Um, Raw. It's going to be pretty much the same uh, as I'm doing in the others. Maybe this was not the best one, but it's okay because we're going to delete more, most of the stuff. Oh, so um, yeah, just roll to all. Um, then it's going to be file. And that, I mean, it's going to be super simple because in reality, uh, it's going to be just reading that. Wait a minute, do we need the temporary file? No, we don't. Um, so, wait a minute. And let me think. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we need the the temporary file. Is data a beta array already? No, it's not going to tell me anything. <laughs> Any string. This should be fine. And this is all the stuff we did to remove the unwanted symbols. So that's the only reason why we need this. Really. Um, okay, so here. Um, We're going to do something similar to this, which is going to be perhaps so web objects and uh, and it's going to be as simple as this. Swaps, 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 and here we say wap. We need to do another one. Hey, hello, racing the beam. Yeah, not too bad. Um, yeah, I had some time now, and I thought I give it a start to the to the sound. I have a busy day tomorrow, interesting day. Um, so I don't want to end too late, but I think. I can do one hour and see how far I get. 
Yeah, I'm what I'm doing at the moment is I'm doing the plan bin. Um, to add the WAV files, the sample side effects. You miss a J in web objects. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Copilot. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I mean, we just need to copy the same. It's the same. Yeah, I had to make a new tool. Um, because the thing with the with the symbols, I mean, it's a raw. It's going to import exactly the same. Uh, so it's just that we remove the import symbols. Uh, oh, because it called the same. The sa oh. Okay, that's okay. So, you know what? Let's change the names to. Maybe. Stripping the wall was not such a bad idea. Because it will be dead underscore wall. Let's do it like that. Still pretty small, the the X file. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that is giving us all the samples, but we need to make them available here, which is going to be the least, right? So. So yeah, we need to just uh, do the um, yeah. We need the, all this. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, what are those things that you think when you're in the shower? That what this really needs is a like a virtual file system interface. Um, that I think I did for some of the game. So I can just create a binary file with a header and just have an import and then have a resource manager and want to say, you know, give me this entry and it will get that. But, you know, for now, this is fine. Um, if I make more DOS games, I will think about it. Um... Okay, so I think we're going to need another thing. So the star only is not going to be enough. Um, because... Oh, because I'm going to use the library called uh, MicMod. And... I never use this library. Or at least I have, I, yeah, my, I can't, it rings a bell like a million years ago, but so. So, sample. There is this one, see? So we can look for a file, uh, for a file, for a file descriptor. No, file pointer. So there are different ways of loading. Um, and we go use you're going to use this and it needs the length. So uh, no, it's object dump 
Uh, what was it? For example, dead. So there is a size here. Hmm? I don't know. Is this I can can I use this? Maybe I don't know. I'm not super confident about this. Um Hmm. What is what is that? I have no idea. So So I see the symbol table, but I don't know what are these values. And why this sec is minus one? Mm. I kind of recall reading somewhere people doing fiddly things between the banner and the end. Uh, okay. So I'm not sure if this is what I need to do, but. But I can get the size. Um, I can get the size like that. Uh, subtracting the address of the N minus the start. And even if you relocate things, I, I recall something about like that. So I'm going to risk it. And we'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, those should be all the samples I need, all the sounds I need. Um, cool. So let's look at the examples. Um, okay, so first we need to set up the plan bin for this. And I'm going to create a wrapper, I think. Um, sound. And I will have my own functions here, like sound in it. And sound free, maybe. Um, well, if the sound fails, uh, to the ad, but we're not, we're not going to care really. So, so let's go with these two. I mean, it's not that we don't care, but there's nothing we can do, and it's going to be when we are exiting already. So. Okay, so we know to need to include this, uh, and hopefully, if I didn't make a mistake, because this is I haven't tried this, so I know that I mean I'm trying to link with the library, but I'm not linking anything, so it could be that it's not working, and I don't know. So this is going to be the basic stuff. 
Um, it's probably not right, but for now, let's copy that. This one is the only thing we're going to do here. Okay, so that's one part. So let's see what we need to do to play sound effects. So we need a number of samples. Okay, so the way it works, we'll create the drivers. Okay, we need to do this, which is kind of ugly. And it has to return zero. Yeah, I remember using this library like a million years ago. Um, and we're going to do the opposite, return zero when there is an error. Um, yeah, this kind of makes sense to do it here. Okay. Oh, that's another one. There you go. Uh, what I wonder is why it's important. Hmm. We're going to use that input up. Uh, okay, any parentheses here, right? Um, <clears throat> let's try to use the same style of error message that we were using here, right? Uh, now, see. Is the one calling this the one that provides the message? Yeah, but because the string error and stuff. What do we do? Okay, let's not do that. We will regret later anyway. Yeah, let's let's add that to. It's not in the game. It's in main, right? So in free all. We're going to free the sound. Uh, I guess here. Over here, in the hole. better, 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 better. Then free all. Um, and I think we're going because this one can fail, right? If not, sound in it. Now the question is, do we want to support the game without sound? I don't know. Potentially we could, but especially because we're using the wrapper, so if it doesn't work, we should able should be able to just not do anything. Okay, so um I like linking with the library. <laughs> that starts to be a problem, right? Um, well, we're linking with the library, definitely. And... So that's include right and leap mic mod that's where is the library oh yeah okay um yeah that's probably me making a mistake here because yeah uh, compilers have changed a little bit so probably I need to split this and say leaves 
and then put the libraries at the end, I think. Could be that. There you go. Okay, it did anything. It did anything. And it seems to be exiting. As far as it looks. Okay, so that could be. That might be all, all right. Okay, so now I need to load the samples. Um, const. How do we do this? Um, okay. Just to make it look nice, we can do uh, const. So it could be the data and because I don't remember. Um, we're saying, okay, so the buffer, which is the data and the length is an integer. So we can do length, maybe. And we call it fx. Because this is all constant. It's never going to change. Ah, I don't know. We can say blah, 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 blah. And then store the sample. Hmm? Something like that, which has the benefit that we can have it as a variable here. We can say uh, we can say fx something like this, and then we can say, for example. We don't have the sample uh, and then the data is going to be binary for example gold fx start then gold fx and minus binary gold fx and And that's fine. And then we can have one for now. So if this works, then according to this, we need to load the samples, which is fine because we're not going to load them, we're going to process them. So for I can type we can do few things we can do fx i s equals to what sample load mem fx y data fx i 
since they say white. Okay, if no FX S, we panic, right? For now, it's fine. And when we do the exit, we do the opposite. If there is that, then sample three like that. Hmm? Does it make sense? Probably. What is this mid model date? I'm scared now. Why has B1 and B2? Oh, because when he's playing the sample. Ah, while well, voice is not stopped. Oh, this is going to be not as easy as I was expecting. Okay. Everything, everything, everything. I think we need some stuff here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I should have planned this in advance, but what is the plan in that? Okay, so the voice is on. Okay, so. Uh, we can call it current. Or just. Um. Okay, so we don't know what is that. Uh, current effects, we're not going to have that many. Okay, so I'm going to implement, I'm going to use one voice and I'm going to have a priority, a priority play. Um, and that is going to be fine, I think. Uh, as long as I create effects in order, cool, it's going to be absolutely perfect. So, okay, we copy this because we're going to do the same. It's going to be perfect, I think. There's a couple of things I don't know what's going to happen until I try it, but we'll see. Okay, so set number of voices is going to be one voice. One voice for effects, enable output, and then we probably need to disable up to output before the exit happens here, right? Cool, 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 cool. This is looking good. Okay, so current effect. We can do this, maybe. No. Okay, let's go with zero. I don't like it. I don't know what to do. How do we do this? Because the current effects is going to tell us which one in this list we're playing. So we could be starting with one and then, yeah, it's going to be fine like that. Okay, so... 
So, sample play. Looks okay. Um, so, what are we doing to need? What are we going to need here? We're going to need a uh, zone. So, play effects, effects, effect number, right? We need to be able to stop the sound as well, I think. Uh, because if we... Um, mm, mm, mm. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm assuming something like this has to work because when we do the pause, um, we need to stop the sound, right? Um, so I'm assuming that we can do the mute with disable output and a mute with enable output. Oh, good. And sound play is what is going to have the fan business now. So So because the effect is going to be um starting one so I don't know about this, but is come is this can backfire later? But for now, we're going to leave it like that. So in order to play the sample, we just need to do this apparently. So we call that um, we can call. We don't need all that stuff. So we can say if current is bigger than effect number, so it has more priority and the voice has not stopped. And the voice is voice then return we're not going to play that sample because the one that is playing has more priority and it's playing already otherwise we say the current effect is the one that you're asking and the voice is Uh, how do I call that? EFX, right? It's going to be it really doesn't matter. We can start in zero. Yeah, but the problem is the first one, right? Yeah, but it can be the same. No worries. I know what I'm saying. It's only if it's bigger. If it's the same, we can replace the sound, which is going to be fine in this case. So, simply effect, on effect number um, S, which has a sample, and that's it. Is this correct? It's not. But I did include the mic mod. And uh, do we need to include something else? Hmm. It doesn't look like it. So what I'm doing wrong? Oh, but okay, 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 fine. Uh. 
Okay, fine. It's because I put something to make it easier to use, but I can't really make from the editor without setting the variable. Okay, so it's complaining about a couple of things. Pointer, target space, or comments, the fair. Oh, because it expects char. It's expected to be with sign. Qua 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 qua. It's okay. It's going to make a problem with that. Yeah, it's going to make a problem, but we don't care. Because we can do that. It because you see and we can do those things um okay so i made a couple of typos which is fine that's not a problem so sample free was one of them and the other one was this well we can say current current right and yeah, yeah okay so now we can go where let's let's do it let's do it let's put it in the game straight away uh in the player the player is the one grabbing the gold who was the one grabbing the gold who knows about the gold? There's some map update gold. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be a player that is going to play the sound. Because why not? So let's go. Okay. And perhaps we can have And um, and we can have FX call, which is kind of awful to do it like this, but let's go with that for now. So this is going to be sound play effect, and only. Ah, okay, because uh, I don't know how to do enums anymore. Uh, it denum needs a name, right? No. It's okay, it's happy. EFX Gold. EFX Gold. What's going on? Did I include sound here? Yes, I did. But this has to be... <laughs> in a different place. Um... like that we don't even need to know what it is okay now it's when it crashes oh fail to init sound quack 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 and that is going to be somewhere in here this one sample load memory because that's not mm, yeah that's what it did Hmm. Is this one and the one I decided? I think. <sighs> Simple word, single word. I mean, we can do something. We can do sample load. Okay. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. 
we can do something quick, a very quick test, because we know that we have the data, right? So it can be data. Uh, what is was gold? And it's not going to work. The name is okay, maybe. Huh. Okay, so we need to find out what's going on in there. Okay, so it's not playing anything. Because... It's not going to work. Loading data from memory. You need to load more so if the person fails, you can use the end reader and writer objects to achieve this. The end reader and writer instructors contains a list of function pointers with emulated behavior of one file object. In fact, all functions stay file names of file arguments rather than the function argument. So you need to load Who says use sample, use sample legendary instead of sample load. Okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. But that's not the problem we have it now. The problem we have it now is that it's not playing. And I think it's not playing because the milk mode update here. Um, so anyway, we're not in the blah, 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 blah. so what is new here? First, we have not only registered Mic Mods device, uh, device driver, but also the module loaders. Mic Mod comes with a large choice module loader, each one for a different module type. Since every loader is called to determine the type of module them you might want to register only a few of them to save time in our case we don't matter we don't matter <laughs> so we happily register every module loader then there's an extra line before calling memory it yes 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 serious mission does this have a standard thread api or is something you will implement yourself I have no idea i have no idea how this works but i have already uh I have already an interval handler for the sound, uh, sorry, for the clock. So I could be calling it there, maybe. But I want to know how this works, really. Um, so, curiosity is the model need to play. Let's play. We inform the player that the current model is model. Let's play start. And uh, now we're looking at the different thing. We should be looking at the effects. Um, okay. Fine. Send the type of things. Number of voices related to the sample. We play in the first sample for half a second. The start play second sample. So we reserve two channels which samples play simultaneously. We use the voice stop function to stop the playback. It returns the color status of the voice argument. Uh, zero with the sample plays and not zero when it's finished. Yeah, but it's not explaining what is the MIG model date. Oh, maybe it's explaining here. Okay. To update the song, we simply call MIG model date. Yeah, that's not simple, is it? <laughs> um. No, it's not simple. It's not simple at all. It's not clear what is this actually doing. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, uh, we will find a way. I mean, it's what? Well, how difficult can it be? So to start with, um. 
We can... We can check it here and see what happens. Why not? Hmm? Although I don't think it's going to work. Well, why not? Let's try it. I can't hear anything. Doesn't mean that nothing is happening. I mean, even if the update rate is not correct, it should show something, right? It should play something. Um, how do I know that the driver is detecting a sound card and is doing something about it? Um, I have no idea, to be honest. Um, do I need to configure something somewhere, somehow? I don't know. Um, well, it has the blaster variable. So, what do we do? I have no idea. How do you type the value of a variable in DOS? No? Uh, it was something like, maybe like, like this. I don't know. I don't know those at all. Okay, so the variable blaster is set. But it's not playing anything. Quack, quack, quack. So. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, the variable blaster is set. So the only thing I can think of is, I mean, it's some blaster 16. How do we know it's playing? How do we know? Okay, so let's go back here. And... Let's break it, but at least we know it should be playing, because if I do this... Well, if I do this... It should play, right? And then crash. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, to initialize the library, you must register some, some drivers. Yes, we do that. 
um, la la la, you get some printable information, yes, on your register your drivers, you can, uh, ah, with info driver, don't forget to call it mock free, to turn a string when you don't need it anymore. Okay, can we use this? Um, okay, let's try, it. let's see if it's detecting, um, so, info driver okay so well we can try something here um just as for example we can say you can do it like this oh there you go so and okay if it's there what we can do and then we call this to call make mod free his did he say something like that and uh, we'll pop up up make mod free yes. yeah but we're not going to see anything if I don't do something here right um let's read a key or something. What does it mean? Uh, uh, sorry, what? You can some printer for the regular register trigger. Ah, yeah, but that's not useful. Once you have registered, you have uh, passing the information, you set the variable, the base to zero, which is the default value, the real real to the that is the first driver list available, the system will be used. Otherwise, only the driver is ordered this to register drivers. Blah blah blah. You can choose the number of voices. Yeah, but I want to know which driver has found, if any. Um, so. Well, well. well. Uh, this is a waste of time because this is not doing what I thought it was doing. Um, which is fine. Okay. Um, yes, does not. I don't think it has a standard threading API, but a DJ GPP may come with some things. So, okay, let's let's see. Um, you can choose the numbers. Okay, don't forget to call. Make model data as often as possible to process the sound mixing. If necessary, for the dedicated to process to this. The library thread save all your system, use a dedicated thread. Um, on systems that have PCP threads, you can check this from man with uh, changes from us. Vision returns when the library is thread safe. The memory for thread safety is that they can be, which makes application situation where separately more global variables are accessible for your threads. So when you more than thread is only more variables, you need to protect those access with the Okay, uh, what can possibly go wrong? Uh, make mode any threads. Let's call that. 
here, for example. What does it mean if I run that? Mm, what does it mean? This function determines whether Mic mode is stress safe. Delivery is not stress safe, delivery is stress safe. Ah, but it's not doing anything for me really, right? It's just telling me things. So I need to cre create a thread and do it myself. So this is not what I want. Um... Can we do a quick hack? Can we do... Let's do it. We can do a quick hack. Why not? And... This is our sound, right? So we can do sound. <laughs> Why not? Are we doing it in order? Yes, we are. So what can possibly go wrong? Okay. Nothing is playing. And I'm calling that function, so... So that might not be the problem. I mean, we can crash it like this, right? And it crashes. So, so this is being called. Uh, so, ah, well, we have one here. Okay, forget about that. Uh, are we calling someone else? No, only in the timer. Fine. So, yeah. We can force that. So when the timer starts... Yeah, it crashes it. So, I would say the update is being called. But it's not playing anything. I'm doing anything stupid on the sound department. Uh, so play effect on the player. Um, effect gold is zero. Score an effect bigger than effect number. No, because current effect is zero. So it's equal, it's not bigger. And has the voice stopped? Well, we need to set a value to voice, right? Uh, I don't know. Um, well, it really doesn't matter because this is equal. So it's never going to get to the second value. So we can just... Let's give it a zero, but it doesn't really matter. Could you enable this output driver and check if it's all zeros? The disk output driver. Oh, can I do that? Uh, how do I do that? What are you talking about? That sounds interesting. Uh, 
Okay, so with that we could be discarding there is no playing anything. Okay, 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 okay. Um so in it parameters. How do I choose the driver or how do I enable the driver? The driver list in the docs mention the file output. Okay. Uh Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There's something here. Uh, does some blaster driver specific errors? Uh, start the image. Ah, nah. Ah, forget about that. Um. Yeah. This right the driver. Um, I don't know how to set up that. Let's see if I can find it. Um, okay, so... Well, register all the drivers. I guess we just want to set one driver, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. This performs the delivery initialization, including the sound driver choice and configuration to all necessary. So I need to choose only the driver I want instead of register all drivers, I guess. So. So register driver instead of register all the drivers. So register. Uh, register driver by ordinal. Oh no, make more driver by ordinal. Okay, register driver. And it requires one driver. And I think I seen, I have seen some. Yeah, so I just need to use one of these uh, names. Um like pipe pipe auto uh, right profile this right it, and it goes into music or raw okay so river raw i guess and is that a pointer where i need to pass um okay so yeah, it's a pointer. So I guess we should do it. Okay. Oh, yeah, there is a music raw. So it is actually playing. Right? Well, uh, there is something being played. Okay. What can I do? Okay, so there are a lot of drivers here. Um, so which one should I use first? Or should I try one? Or what's going on? I think this should be fine. Could it be that my DOS box is not actually doing the right thing with audio? Um, give me a sec. Okay, so I have stopped the music, the background music, just in case. Um, I don't think it should make a difference. But maybe those box is failing to play the audio. <laughs> no, that's not it. Um
Um, I don't know. Sound Blaster. Sound Blaster 16. Seems to be fine. Speaker. Um, what can be wrong? I have used those box with sound, definitely. And I have used this same configuration multiple times, so that must not be it. We try forcing some blast to drive it rather than registering it all. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, wait a second, I'll be back. Yeah, I have put back the music. <laughs> All right, okay, let's do that. Um, good idea, good idea, good idea. So, just in case there's something funny going on. So, resistant driver, and we're going to use driver. SB, I guess. What is that? Um, Yeah. Sound Blaster. There you go. Oh no, SB. Yeah, it could be that. No, mute. Hmm. Anyway, when we did the print of the drivers, I think it was showing the... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's loading the sample. Is the sample okay? Um, I haven't tried that. Um, so... Audacity, uh, actually, we can do just open uh, goal. It's going to be Audacity. It's definitely making noise, right? So that's about what we should be listening. Um, but it's not playing anything. And it's definitely loading the file. Or well, that's what it looks because. I mean, the, the file name is accidentally the right size. Well, I am assuming that that's, this is right, uh, but I think it is. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. So we enable the output and we call in this frequently. So I can't be it. Um, This seems to be fine. Okay, let's let's make things sim simpler. Shall we? No, it didn't so it didn't play anything. It should make the noise. 
and it's not making any noise. Could it be the volume on the... Could it be that the volume is off inside those box? How do I, how do I see that? Uh, no. I have no idea. Could be that those box, the volume is not set or something. No, because there is no system mixer or anything. It's whatever the volume we set here, right? And according to the example, According to the example, that should be playing at uh, the right volume, right? So, so this is sample play. It's not telling us here. That could be documented here, by the way. Okay. Sample play. Start and flags. Flags in the theorem normal sound effects. Critical sound effects which must not be interrupted. Okay, fine. Start. Supposition samples. Sample to play. Hmm. Uh, we didn't set volume. Um... So All right. So we choose uh choose to play the first somebody below where 160 to make the yeah but the default is full volume right maybe it's not let's set the volume maybe uh do we need to set the volume when we okay when we play here i don't know Could be something like this. Can't hear anything, really. <laughs> no, it's mute, mute. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can check uh, for a mic mode symbol, perhaps. Oh, look at that. This is different. It threads. Resisted driver. Resisted all loaders. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, no. Uh, did I copy or no? Apparently I didn't. Oh man, what a mistake. <laughs> I mean, if I can follow up example like that. No, that was not it. 
and that's what Xtest is doing here. So register the driver, register all the loaders, and then it does the init. Drivers, loaders, init. Fair enough. Now we're doing the same thing, at least. And main, what it does, it still needs to do the update. So why is calling to the init threads? Can someone tell me? Could be forcing some blaster. I ah, know. Yeah, this is something you said some time ago. I don't know. Let's look at the example. No change, no difference. Okay, so this is doing mic mode in it. Signals in it. Break, fine. Uh, player load. Okay, so that's the music player. It's the song, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We don't care about that. And leave me more they need. What it does is the exit. It does the init. Well, the sex some mixing frequency here. Uh, that I haven't said. No complete sure if that really matters equal equally with the uh, I don't think this any threats is doing anything really. But it's true, it is true <laughs> that I didn't copy things properly. So playing sound effects. No, it I'm following the example, I'll register all the drivers. But it's not registering anything else. So all loaders is for the music, I think. Fair enough. I'm going to need that. But not now. So that's why I didn't add that. Anyway, so register driver. Only no sound. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like it's doing what we need to do. So, mic mode update. We call it mic mode update. So, that is okay. Um, Let's look at the sound effects example. So register all drivers. Demo sound effects. Yeah, fine. Uh, I don't think we need the frequency for now. Let's keep things simple, perhaps. Actually, I'm going to open that here. So, those with more uh, example, uh, no, give me more examples. Sound effects. What is this low doing? File size. Sample lament. Oh, look at this. Well, that's what we tried to do, and it didn't work. But for now, it's okay. We're doing the sample low. Um, register all drivers. Yes. We don't really need to register all the loaders. Then soft. Yeah, mod init. Yeah, the same. Then we load the sound effect. 
fine. Uh, set number of voices, fine. Enable output, cool. And then we do sample play with the sample zero zero. And we call updates. I mean, we can do here the same, right? disable this because it's being called by the other thingy that should play the same no it's not playing anything um Song play effect. <sighs> Seriously, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Um, shall I try to compile uh, one of the examples and run it from DOS? Because it could be that the library is not working at all. I think it could be something in the dust box. I mean, this looks okay. I mean the sound is is fine because I had play I had used this uh... no I think this is fine. Uh, this is configured just fine. It's not working with it. Um, could be the song blaster settings are wrong, something. Yeah, that's why I wanted to, to test this as soon as possible because I'll never use the library. Or is running another X explain sound just to check it's working? Uh, yes. Um, makes sense. I th I honestly think it is working. Uh, 
what I can do to make to play sound here. Do I have anything here to make sound? What do you do? How do you play a beep? It's like this, right? Yeah, it may not it may not be working. And I don't know. Um Okay, let me try some 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 stuff. Uh, I think you may be right. I think DOSBox is not playing anything. Uh, okay, so No, those box is not registering anything. See, I mean, if it was registering something, so I don't think so. It's not so. It's not the the output of those box. It is the. Uh, it's not playing anything here. Um, I am calling the right things here in the right order. No, yes, we know because when we, if we, if I do this, then it works and it says pay to init sound. So we are calling the init sound for sure. Is the sample being loaded okay? I think so. Because otherwise this wouldn't work. Um, now what? What I can use inside uh, those box to check that it is playing sound. So the library could be right. But um, let me see. I have no idea. What do I have here in those that make sound? Uh, okay. Um, Oh, but we need to do the same dos box, right? Okay, okay, okay. So it has to be the same dos box. So the same configuration, I mean. Okay, okay. So let's change this, and then we can do. Uh, what was that? What was uh. Wait a minute, why is running play? Oh, okay, now nah. ignore me. I made a mistake. I need to pass the configuration with com. Okay, so this is the same DOSBox configuration. So this should. Yeah. So it plays. Well, that's not some blaster, is it? Or it is. Well, something is playing, so there is sound. So I think this is not happy. And it could be the sample, right? Okay. Uh, could be the sample. 
What can I do? Um, so let's move gold back. And then here, let's look for... For a sample that we know... Uh, okay. Could be the format. Hmm? I don't know if this is a good idea, but let's try that. Okay, because it's not a WAF, fi WAF file anymore. <laughs> okay. It could be the type of sample. Ah, uh, no, it's not. I don't even know what, what type of file is this. Um... Well, I just need a WAV. Um, <laughs> that's not probably a... Uh, okay, there you go. Um, it's going to it's going to be the file. It has to be the file. It has to be the the WAV. That doesn't know what to do with it. No. It really doesn't matter. So it's not the sound. Uh, so it's not the it's not the sample. I mean, it should be playing if it was actually working, but it's not. So Now it should work. It should fail. Uh, oh no, because that's not even. So, what? Driver. Lot of drivers here. Um, does he have. Well, we can use driver WAF. Right? Then do this. And then. So that's picking out the gold, right? So that's working. Huh? So we know it's working. But it's not playing anything on the Sound Blaster. Um, what does it mean? It's not picking at the sound blaster. Uh, it's not picking the blaster variable. When then what what is detecting if it's not detecting that? Uh, 
what it's actually doing. Uh, okay, it's actually doing anything at all. So support the sound cards. Currently, three brands of sound cards are supported under uh, DOS. One of them is Gravis Ultrasound. Some brands are incompatible. There's only one driver that supports all flavors of some blasters. Not that sorry cover as well. Yeah, it's not saying anything. It's not saying how to configure the driver. So I assume that it has to be in drivers, right? Um, driver sound blaster. Uh, sound blaster command line. So SB detect. It's not very useful. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> a play. I don't know. I can't run a play in. Yeah. Okay, so. Port, IRQ, IRQ. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So let's look. Um, let's try to make this work, shall we? I think it's because I don't remember anything about those anymore. So okay. So we have port. IRQ DMA high DMA right why is doing SB in it no I don't need to it's part of the driver when it detects the driver and opens but I think we can say here things like uh, we can specify C is doing, is saying, so it's looking for an atom that is port. But I'm not sure if this atom includes anything else. So I guess we can try to say this. I don't know. Something like that. But I'm 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 wondering if I need to pass the parameters what type of detection is doing. So uh okay so mic mod in it um so i wonder how this works i'm not reading very well So char parameters. This function blah, 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 blah. So you can pass parameters, but um okay. So what is this? What is this doing? What is this get atom is doing? We don't know, right? <laughs> so
Yeah, we need to implementation of that. Otherwise, it's not going to tell us anything. Okay, so... Yeah, um... Um, so there is a player code. I can type. Okay, get atom. Okay, so it supports commas, I guess. Uh, the name of the atom and then it skips with commas. So, ah, uh, and equals. So I might have used the right thing anyway. But it doesn't work. Of course not. I have no idea. Support IR your key port your key DMA high DMA port your key DMA high DMA. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I think it's because uh, it's not really doing any any detection or anything. Yeah, but we're looking for information about DOS, which is going to be impossible to find. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to find it here. Um, You have far more patience than me. I will have thrown something by now. Yeah, I mean, I'm screaming internally. Uh, there must be, I'm doing something wrong. That's absolutely sure, but. So this is what is processing the input. Then. So what is the SB open? And what is the SB detect doing? Oh, there you go. So the sound blaster detect actually gets the environment variable blaster. <laughs> <laughs> so A gets the port. Yeah, I mean it's doing the right thing. So I don't really need to pass these parameters at all. Actually. Can just do this. It really bothers me that empty string in there. So it's getting the. I think it's getting the blaster variable. And skis way space, then it gets A for the port. IRQ DMA.
so I think it's fine. Um, why is not playing? I don't know. But the other thing was playing, right? Or to some extent. I don't know if he was playing. Uh, if he was playing samples or not. Maybe instead of a Sound Blaster 16, we can make it simpler. Like. I don't know. It's not doing anything. Um, I had a Sun Blaster Pro back in the day. Uh, there was a Max Freak in that those SB file. Okay. Yeah, but it's not playing anything. Um, so there was a max frequency. Where do you see that? Yeah, but it's depending on it's setting those values. Uh, I don't think we need to change anything. I don't think. Uh, so you think that perhaps if we don't set the frequency here that could be what is causing the problem why is saving things to the so it's actually right into the file just fine so i don't understand i don't understand when it's not playing anything because when the driver is uh, the one that I don't know. <sighs> I have no idea. But the, when the driver is the WAV file is is writing into the driver. So since that everything is working fine, what is not working is the dry the okay uh sorry oh uh what Oh, interesting. I was expecting that it was... Oh, there is only... There is only two DOS drivers. Or maybe all is in the same one. On the Sun Blaster. It doesn't seem to be bothered now. Okay, so I think we need to register all the drivers that are available. I'm sure about that. Then. Some blaster mixer true. I don't even know what it means. Um. Sound Blaster, oh none, okay. So now it doesn't have Sound Blaster, we only have a Gravel Silver Sound. And it, it doesn't seem to be bothered, right? Ooh, it plays a slower. So it's trying to do something with the sound. Yeah, it's trying to do something with the sound. Um, which is not happening with the Sound Blaster. Mm. 
it doesn't have any slowdown whatsoever here. But when I it was strained with the Gravis ultrasound, it was with the goose gas goose goose. How do you pronounce that? Goose gas. With the goose, it was actually having some slow slowdown. Well, I think this is going to be all today. I <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> because I can get the sound from this and I don't know what else I can do which is a shame I don't know okay so what is um, Allegro using? Could be using Oh no, they're doing their own stuff. <sighs> well then it's not gonna help us, is it? Is it? Well, decompile everything, does cause DMA, RQ, so all that decompile is fine. Uh, and everything seems to be okay. And this is the configuration that it does all the stuff. Oh, it's called, the driver is called Ultra, by the way. I suppose raw well, ah, that was lucky that was the two things we tried um, I don't know I don't know really it's not playing that's the only thing we know mm. I only think um perhaps something that is not liking here but we know the other one was playing just fine Yeah, no idea. This is not going well. I don't think I need to think. I need to sleep a little bit on this, and then see if I can come up with something, or maybe looking at it differently. Definitely not playing on the Sound Blaster. Okay, let's check again. One last thing. Um, oh. 
Okay. And then it's telling you, you're using those, go read read me. Wah, fine. Driver parameters. Yeah, some value, some value, some value. Fine. Yeah, but it doesn't have the DOS information. And the DOS information is just fine because we saw that the detection, the detection looked like it's doing what I was expect, expecting, really. So. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks, license. Well done. And here, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't say anything really useful at all. Not really. Original Sun Blaster Pro, Sun Blaster 16. I don't know. Could be that we need to enforce the something like this. Uh, the frequency that I just removed. Maybe you need to use the right frequency, otherwise it won't work. But is nobody's telling us that either. That's not it. That's not the problem. And we don't need to register the loaders because we have checked that for the samples we don't really need to. And it was actually generating a I mean the WAV file was fine, so it looks like he's reading the format and he's doing the mixing and all that stuff, right? So if we do So I, I grab six pieces of code, right? Oh dear, dear, dear. Okay, if we remove this. And this is still playing properly. So this is using the timer. I want to know how close I am. Okay. So now it's super slow because it's saving to this. So we call in too much. No, but it makes more sense. The other output was wrong.
Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm it's it's going to be too much. Uh, I'm calling too frequent that but it really doesn't matter because it not it doesn't play anything at all. Or maybe it's playing the volume is funny or No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Could be the volume. So, player voice said volume. That's only for the module, not for the boards. Specific voice, any voice range, the normal voice versus starting from zero. I can, I mean, there's only one voice, so we could be saying anyway, we don't know which one is, so uh, we can say voice set volume. Could be that, although we saw in the output web file that it was fine. So it's not that, the mixer is not. That is not it. It's just that it's not playing in the in the Sound Blaster, uh, as far as I can see. Um, there's nothing else I can do, really. Uh, maybe try in the real hardware. And then see what happens. I'm going to leave it here. I spent like double the time I was planning to do here and we didn't get a sound. So yeah, I would think about this and try some other ideas to see what is going on. But I think the general gist is solid. It's just that uh, it's not playing any sound, and I don't know why. Anyway, uh, I need to prove that the library is not broken and that it's actually doing things in DOS. Um, and if it's broken, I will need to find something else, but I think this one should work. So we'll see next time. Bye, Racing the Beam. See you next time. Bye, bye, bye.